Uh, it was a wonderful event last year and even the first time we did it in... Any of you who don't know about the Pinkathon, it was started to encourage a more aware of how important it is for them to take care of their, their health first. They wake up in the morning till the time they sleep in the night, they're always working. They're the bosses, but they never do any work for themselves. It's me time. Spending time for yourself. For your own physical exercise, which is for your own fitness instituted through the event itself. Like the, the uh, distances we have, of course, three kilometers, which is an entry level distance for anybody. Anybody can walk three kilometers, we know that. So it's the least intimidating distance. There's a five kilometer, there's a ten kilometer, and there's also a half marathon. Fine, they get a free mammogram. So this is something that is quite unique to the Pinkathon. There are no other events who do something like this. In the 21 kilometer event, every woman who runs has her own pacer who runs with her. Because we realize that because the event starts so early in the morning, the 21 kilometers fly off at 5 o'clock, it's completely dark. So apart from the fact that they get good pacing from their pacer, so they know at what speed they have to run, it's also for their own safety. Because sometimes the route is a little uh, barren. You know, there, there are not many people on the road at that time, and we don't know there could be anybody there. And the women should, the women should feel safe. So we have a pacer for every racer, as we call it. Another thing that we've done in, uh, in the Pinkathon and in the past Pinkathons is training visually impaired girls to run in the Pinkathon. So as you know, uh, visually impaired girls need someone to hold their hand when they're running long distances. So we appeal to volunteers to come forward from the running community and partner with as many girls who are interested and enthusiastic, enthusiastic to run in the Pinkathon. So survivors. Now all these women, even the visually impaired women, the cancer survivors, are, are people who are very, very inspiring. So we did. It went to six cities. So primarily the objective as Mr. Mildred Health. So how women across the country, we know in India, do not take care of themselves because they are only known as caregivers and they, are, they make their, themselves a stereotype as a caregiver. And in the whole process, they never take care of themselves. So this is a cause we thought that we can, through this cause marketing, <coughs> of United Sisters Foundation, uh, Mr. Melinda Soman. Uh, so when uh, this, this was very appealing to us that... You are here. What do you want to talk about this particular participation? I thought it was good in the last year. Now I am going to participate in this year. I am going to participate in this year. I am going to be in this year. And I am going to be in this year. 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 बहुत कुछ वो आत्मविश्वास बढ़ाने के लिए हमारे लिए बहुत कुछ करने का प्रयत्न करते हैं और मुझे यहाँ आकर बहुत अच्छा लगा आपने मुझे आप बुलाए इसलिए मैं आपकी आभारी हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू सो दिस दिस लेडीज़ आई मीन समटाइम्स यू फील यू नो